Nazis in Nashville. For the third time in as many weeks, a white supremacy group is making their presence known. Just hours ago, nearly two dozen protesters from a group called Whites Against Replacement were spotted on a bridge along I-65 holding signs. Now, this comes just days after a white supremacy group descended on downtown Nashville. So why do these symbols and slogans keep popping up in Music City? News 2's Adam Mincer reports. A mixed-race teenage couple captured these images Sunday. Neo-Nazis holding flags with swastikas in Nashville, wearing T-shirts reading, Whites Against Replacement. God bless you. We love to protect the children, the children. This comes eight days after another apparent hate group demonstrated downtown. On July 6th, 100 people believed to be a part of the Patriot Front walked down Broadway. The group was masked and holding flags, including a confederate. Confederate flag. Nashville based extremism expert Amy Cooter says she has theories why they came here. Seems likely that we're unfortunately creating some kind of public image of Nashville as being potentially welcoming to these ideologies and folks like this. Cooter says Nashville could be attracting these people because of its politics, a Democrat led city within a Republican dominated state. It's long been true that we sometimes see group activity like this in places where the group sees it almost as a political or cultural battleground. She also says these groups may view Nashville as a safe place to spread their message. In part because of the responses after the July 6th and February marches. We did see our mayor, we did see our governor come out with statements after the, the last batch of pop-up terrorism in Nashville from Patriot Front. But in terms of how they interpret that, they, they don't really see that as a very meaningful kind of consequence. Earlier this year, Nashville Democratic Representative John Ray Clements feared this would happen. Are we doing enough as lawmakers to push back against this type of thing. Cooter says while leaders may not be doing enough to push back, we are living in a day and age when anti-Semitic incidents are on the rise in the U.S. In Nashville, Adam Mitzer, News 2.